You are causing so much racket. I just woke up. I'm not even hungry yet. And look, you've ruined my web. You don't even smell like food. Nor do you really look like what usually gets stuck down here. Mm, you must be one of those bipedals. An elf, maybe? Mm, no pointed ears, though. Ugh. They just have far too few legs. If you ask me, it's a bit unnerving. I find eight to be much easier to move around with. Much faster than you. Now, now, now. So helpless. You must be young. I would think an adult creature would be far more dangerous than you. Are you lost? Are you scared? Don't be afraid. I just woke up, like I said. I'm not particularly fond of red meat. So you're safe. No, 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 no. It's okay, my dear. Don't cry. Don't be scared. It's been a long time since I've had company. Hmm. Well, you ruined my web, so I suppose you should stick around while I make another. You know, down here alone, there's not much else to do but wait and sleep. I remember being young like you. I used to go up to the surface. I used to catch small birds, rabbits. The sun was always so bright. You could never stand it for very long. Mm. I suppose that's why... Once I found this cave, I moved right in. Oh, there was something here once. A big, furry creature. A few teeth. It didn't put up much of a fight, though. And it made for a nice meal. I got a few malts out of it. Mm. Don't you do that? Do you not ever shed skin? How do you grow? Confusing. Your skin grows with you. No wonder you are so fragile then. Even just one touch could hurt you. How sad. I feel bad for you, all alone. That's okay, you're here now. I could get you something to eat if you'd like. I have meals wrapped from previous days, other webs. Fire? No, no, no. The webs burn too fast. I don't have fires down here. 
Though I suppose to care for you, I might need to. How curious. Hmm. Have you ever considered growing more legs? You would be faster. And you maybe would be able to climb a little bit better. You're a sweet little thing. You know, I've never been able to have small children of my own. When a male of this species visits, I usually fend them off. They're quite bold. I don't appreciate them. Hmm. One or two have met their end by me. They don't stick around for very long. I wonder what motherhood would be like. From my youth, my childhood, I guess, I had so many brothers and sisters, too many to count. As we crawled from our webbing, our egg, my sisters and brothers fought each other, ate each other, as did I. It was kill or be killed. And now, here I am. Mother, <laughs> never knew her. She left us far before we hatched. I learned everything I knew from experiencing it, from whispers, bits and pieces of paper come my way by daring adventurer or other silly things. Read. Yes, I suppose I do read. How did I learn? Hmm. I suppose someone like you once taught me, though the memory is fuzzy. I was so hungry. Hmm. Aren't you hungry? Mm, I told you, no fires. You'll be alright, don't worry. If you get cold, I'll just wrap you in web. It's quite well insulated. In the winter, I cover the cave with them. It keeps it warm enough so that I won't freeze. I can still move quite well. I can still move quite well as long as it's warm. Of course. If you intend to stay here for very long, you'll have to get used to it. Leave. Well, you fell down here into my web. There isn't exactly a way up if you don't know how to climb. If you would like to try, you're welcome to. But unless you stay here, I'm not going to be troubled to help you. No, don't worry, sweetheart. If you stay here, I will feed you. Thank you.